Yo, man, welcome to the journalist DJ.com. Um, it's the journalist here. And, uh, you know, today we, we, we're doing a, a, an interview with for the Diesel Denim Friday series. Um, as you guys are aware, there's a competition happening right now. And, uh, you know, my man, Wax BK, is a finalist. How are you, bro? I'm good. I'm good. That's it. How are you, man? I'm good. Okay, first of all, your name is a bit confusing. Is it Wax TBK or is it Wax BK? Can you just uh, help me it's on Wax, that? Wax, Wax TBK. It's just Wax TBK. Oh, okay. Dope. So tell me about your name, man. You know, like it's a, it's a very creative name. Like, what does that mean? Uh, it's actually a mixture of uh, both my names. You know, uh, one is Welcome. Uh, that's where Wax comes from. And the other one is Torigan. So that's where TVK comes from. Because I mean, <laughs> at first I was just DJ Wax and I realized there are a lot of other DJ Wax is there. So I just needed to spice it up. You're right. There are a lot of, you know, <laughs> DJ Waxes. So shout out to you for being yeah. for being creative um, with the name. It's definitely a name that, you know, once you hear or see, it kind of like stays with you. Yeah. So, so tell me, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I understand that, you know, you grew up in the east side of Joburg. How was it like growing up, you know, in the east of Joburg? Uh, growing up in the east, it was always, it was okay, you know, uh, it was it was good, in fact, you know, it was always music infused, entertainment infused, in fact, you know, uh, at some stage I was, I was dancing, you know, at some stage I became a DJ and now DJ and producer. So it was, it was, it was, a, it was a, it, I wouldn't say it was a perfect life, but I'm not complaining much from it. You know? So I, I, I think I, I would say I, ha I had uh, a healthy childhood. That's, mm. that's what I, I would say. Yeah, and you know, like a lot of people from the East are very musical, you know, like I know, yeah the east of Joburg is very rich with hip hop as well and also yeah. dance music I'm a piano and house music and deep house as well and I've always yeah. been curious you know it's like why do you think the east side has such a, a rich culture when it comes to music uh I think I think uh, it's because the east tried i mean i mean most most people that are from the east are from different places you know so some come with cultures from different sides and you know ikotani they come here and the abu dj uh, producers and different types of things you know some are some are from mapidori and they come and bring their different types of things and when you infuse it it becomes this one huge thing from the east you know You've got a lot of different people doing a lot of things i think that's why uh, the East is, is is what it is. Yeah, and we love it, man. Yeah. Tell me about now your DJing career. Like, how how did you decide uh, that you know what you want to be a DJ? Okay, so when when I grew up, uh, I always I always used to you know love music. And when I was in school, I had a friend who was a DJ. So every time he would speak about speak about this thing you know i'd always be interested uh, trying to know what are vinyls uh what are you talking about when you're talking about uh mixers and things like that so i was I, I then i just i just listened to music a lot you know my mom used to buy me cds and you know playing with the dvd player and that's that's how my love for music grew you know then it happened that i started i i, I wanted to get interested i i got interested in wanting to get into this thing you see so i was like okay uh let me just try virtual dj out mm. uh once i tried i got my first copy of virtual dj that's i think that's when everything took off so. mm. Mm. virtual dj you know that's <laughs> that's where a lot of guys start um and yeah. you know I'll, I'll come back to to to, to virtual djing and the art of djing uh you know before we get there obviously you know you're a finalist on the you know, Diesel Denim Friday campaign. So tell me about that. How did you find out about the brand and what they're doing? Uh, 
at first, you know, I, I found out about the brand on Facebook. It was first confusing. I didn't understand what they meant. Like, imagine DJs, they're talking about superhero DJs, they're talking about hero DJs. So, you know, Diesel does this thing of, it has this sponsored, sponsored, uh, sponsored post. So you'd see it w once in a while. You, I didn't understand what was going on. I saw Shimza, you know, Abu Lamiz. I, I, I didn't really get what was, what was going on. Then I, I, I took my time and searched about it then realized oh this is actually an, an upcoming talent competition you know so when it reopened reopened for for this season that we're in uh i uploaded my mixtape you know i uploaded my mixtape uh, and before i knew it i was called and told that i was part of the top 20. Mm -hmm. and then and then and then what happened after that so you upload your mix they call you they say you're part of top yeah, 20. I upload yeah, and then yeah, so I upload my mix. I upload my mix because you know, you know, a lot of these things when you you upload your mix and sometimes you just never get a call. So it was really really surprising. So I upload a mix and I kind of not put my mind into it that much, you know. Then I remember getting a call. I think it was, it was from Shimza's Shimza's office, and so we treat, true college just tells you it's DJ Shimza or oh, no no. And I'm the watching this call, and I'm like, what, what was, what is going on? Can this even be real? You know. Then that call, it, it actually dropped. You know, I, I, I don't know why I never answered it. Then, uh, just a few seconds after that, they called with, a, with another number, and I answered it. Then this guy's like, okay, am I speaking to, to XTPK so and so? And I'm like, yeah. Then he says, uh, you've made it to the top twenty, uh, Diesel Daniel Friday top twenty. Uh, top 20 finalists and then I, that, that that was just very exciting mm -hmm. okay and then now currently you're a, you're a top five finalist right yeah so what you know how does that feel like what does this mean for you uh it means it means a lot i mean uh a lot of people now are now aware of the wax tvk brand and a lot of people are now starting to take me much more seriously than they, they would have if I had not been part of this competition. So it's it's just it's just exciting and, and fun. It's been it's been a fun journey. It hasn't been too long, but it has been it has been amazing. I understand that you are an Afro house DJ and yeah. producer, right? So, you know, what is what is your vision for your career when it comes to Afro House, considering that oh no, now Ama Piano is 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 taking over? Okay, uh in terms of that, my vision would be uh because obviously now we want to we're I wouldn't say we're in a competition, but we also need to find a way to stand out, you know. And I think for me it would be trying as much to break into the local market, you know, because uh, I, I at first, at first it was always about, you know, Afrotech. I want to be on stages like I want to play in Ibiza. I want to play, you know, one day seeing myself in Tomorrowland. You know, Abu Abu Hai. You see, so then I, I figured, it's okay, if if I can try in my production to infuse sounds that are going to be very relatable to people. Uh, around me first, you know, maybe. and I think I think that would actually take me very far. It's something that I'm still trying. You know, it's it's still in trial. So, I, for me, it's just I I want to be everywhere, man. locally, uh, overseas. Yeah, I just I just that's how, that's where I want my brand to go. Okay, I yeah, know, dope, man, and you know, I I understand exactly what you're saying. I think a lot of Afro house, Afro tech, uh, you know, DJs they look at Black Coffee's journey and I think he has yeah. kind of like, you know, put out the blueprint and, you know, it only makes sense, you know, because I mean, what he's doing now is unheard of in terms of yeah. local um, producers to do yeah. stuff on international stages like that. So I get you. So tell me now about your producing journey. Like, so you, the have you put out music? Uh, you have music out there and stuff like that? Okay, I've got, I've got, cause my my production journey wasn't hasn't been for that long. I can say late twenty seventeen till now. You know, still trying to find myself and the kind of sound that I actually love. 
So before the competition, uh, I had planned to release an EP actually. I had planned mm-hmm. to release an EP uh, called Sweets and Dust. Then when I got the call and I was like, okay, maybe let me see how far I can, I can go with this competition and see how much hype I can, I can build up for my brand. Then maybe after that, I'll, I'll, I'll release the EP. Little did I know that I'd actually get to the top five. You know, mm-hmm. I think, yeah, but I do have, have projects because if 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 you're going on searching searching for me uh i i, I did uh, different types of sounds you know afro house some sort of deep house takey you know so some collaborations with friends and but you know afro has just been that 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 genre that says you know what you belong here mm, mm. it speaks to you it speaks to you so exactly so so, so tell me bro like what 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 is it about your mix obviously you have to people have to listen to your the way that you dj and your mixes yeah. to obviously tell your yeah. style but if you had to describe your style that made you become the top five like how would you describe you know your your technique uh, i think my my technique is uh you know i most of the time i start out really chill so it's, it's a combination of different sounds like i like i said i want to break into uh, the market here and the market overseas so if you listen to the mixes it'll be some chilled tech uh afrotech afrotech house and a bit of melodic house uh, infused with afro afro tribal tribal stuff that we have back here at home, back here at home so most of the time it's just something that progresses progresses up until you know i get to the, the climax of my set and that's when now becomes more energetic and more more i don't know crazier more fun mm, mm. do you play with effects yeah i do play with effects here and there but uh, i do i i love, them. Mm, I love okay them. look man i know you touched on this um earlier on when you said that uh you know depending on where the campaign takes you then you might release an ep uh Obviously, you're going to listen EP after, obviously, you know, your name gets out there a bit more. But I want to know, you know, what's going to happen now, you know, if if you announce the winner? What are your plans if you announce the winner? Yo, if I announce the winner, uh, <laughs> obviously, with uh, with the cash, I'll, I'll try some brand in, in has, enhancement, you know, uh, try to get proper PR for, for the EP. Uh, actually, at first, it was... It was an EP. Then I I thought to myself, why not stretch it and say, and just release an album? Because many people just like you're asking, like, do you have music out there? I'm like, Ish, yeah, I do, but it's not really what I want people to know me to know me as. So I I thought of getting out, getting an album out. Since the EP was gonna be called Sweet and Dust, I want to release like a two part album, releasing Sweet then Dust. The dust after that's going to make one album. So if if I win win the competition, if I I would like to get proper PR for you know the EP and try to push it as much as I I mean the the album and try to push it as much as I can, enhance my brand as 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 as, as much as I can as well. Mm. Mm. Sounds like a solid plan. Sounds like a solid plan. You're a man with a plan, bro. You're busy. You're doing your thing. And just before this interview started, you said that, you know, you just wrote an exam right now. Is You know, tell us a bit about that. Like, what are you studying? You know, what are some of your other goals besides DJ? So I'm a final year student, IT student, uh, majoring in software development, uh, TUT, uh, just one here in, in, in Ridbank. So yeah, that's that's what I was writing. What's supposed to be my last paper for for these entire years? <laughs> it was just my last paper today, and uh, hopefully everything goes well. Then next year I see my graduation, and yeah, and and, and also try to because I mean, and I like like the the competition came as a surprise to me because my plans was were to push back uh, whatever I had going on in entertainment, you know, and say, let me just finish off school because I only have a few months left. 
Mm. No, then next mm. year I start from scratch and say, not really start from scratch, but start saying now I am I want to have to pave a solid foundation for my music career. Look, um, bro, like I I I think that you know it's dope that you're studying, and while you're studying, you're also pushing, you know. Um, your other passions and good luck, man. You know, good luck with the future. Good luck with the exams, with the school. Good luck with the competition. Lastly, I want to know okay. who are some of your inspirations in the music game. Like, who do you look up to? In the okay, in the music game, uh, I'll say okay. It's 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 some are just a bit out of my the genre that I do, but you know, obviously, you know, the likes of Shims. I've been following Shims for since since i don't know when when he was still playing in kempton park and what innocent pub and what what black coffee is one of them you know i uh, used to follow up with heavy k you know people like that and yeah that's those are the people that actually inspired the djing part of it, a, a, a part of it then you've got the likes of abu dakar or who you know about 10 83 people that i grew up listening to abu yeah, like I said, about heavy key, about 0.5, Uhuru, mm. when they still in Ekalawa. Mm. Those are the people that I was actually following a lot that made me fall in love with this tribal sound, you know. So, yeah, those are the people that actually paved the way and people that are in, that inspired me and say, and I told myself, yes, I want, I want to be at, at that point, at that point in time. Yeah, man. Um, you know, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, you know, listening to who inspired you and listening to your story as well. I think, you know, we're going to be hearing a lot from you in the future. Is there anything else, lastly, you just want to add that, you know, I might have missed? Uh, I don't think there's much, but people should be looking out for, you know, more music coming from me and next day it's just it's just music releases and hopefully uh people get to realize to realize that you know this guy is bringing something that maybe is not in the market and hopefully people will start saying yeah now we want to book this guy because of this and this and this you know i just i just i i just hope my brand gets to a point where people are saying you know what i want you to come to my, my establishment I, I want you to come to my movement and i just want to add value you know uh, to people people's movement yeah and how can people get hold yeah. of you uh they can get hold of me on instagram it's wax tvk then on on on, on, on facebook my page is wax tvk music then if you're going to get hold of me on my phone it's 065 883 four one six four i know i know thank you um look man uh, i'll see you at the finals yeah 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 <laughs> yeah we, yeah we got we're going to see each other at the finals so def most definitely most definitely okay ne. sharp sharp my brother sharp sharp thank you bro